Hi, in this video, I wanna talk about the unexpected ingredient that you need in order to get better at math. And it's not studying. Studying is not the thing that you're probably missing because if you're watching this video, you probably are taking a math class, maybe you're even a math major, or you know, you're doing some studying, you're trying, you've probably tried to do your homework, you're, you've tried to read math books, you've tried to go through your notes, and it's still difficult, you're still having a hard time. Well, in this video, I wanna talk about something that you already have, and you just have to learn to use it. So what is it? What is the missing ingredient? Well, it's simply attitude, right? If you have the right attitude, things are just gonna go better for you. You know, I remember years ago, I had uh, some random job. I don't even remember what job it was, but I had to watch a training video. And in the video, they had a character, some guy who woke up in the morning, drove to work and went to work. And they had two scenarios. Scenario one, he had a negative attitude. You know, someone cuts him off in traffic, he honks. You know, someone doesn't give him exact change at the store, you know, he gets angry, you know, and, and on and on and on. He took the negative approach to every single thing he did. In the second video, he does exactly the same thing, but takes a more positive approach. And at the end of the day, he's happier and everyone around him is happier because he's a better person. So the same thing applies to math, you know, if you're taking a math class and you go to class and it's the first day of class, and you sit down and you have a negative attitude right from the beginning, things aren't gonna go the way you want them to, right? It's always better to have a really, really positive you know, attitude. It's very normal to have a negative attitude towards math. It's very socially acceptable. A lot of times, you know, I'll hear conversations. Someone will say, oh yeah, you know, I'm really not that good at math. You know, it's really not my thing. Then someone else will say, oh yeah, you know, I'm not good at either, math is just, yeah, whatever. And it's socially acceptable, so, so people say it. Which is kind of weird, you know, because people never say, oh, you know, I'm not really that good at reading, you know, I can't really read what it says on the sign. For some reason, that's very, very taboo, right? It's okay to be bad at math, but it's not okay to be bad at reading. So, you know, I really think, uh, you know, anyone, can learn, you know, basic math, you know. So if you're having a hard time with math, you know, just, just keep that in mind. Maybe you've heard this, but some people say attitude is everything. Like it makes such a huge difference, right? Having the right mindset, even when you're just alone by yourself, you know, if you're gonna sit down and take, you know, a piece of paper and a pencil and you're gonna start working on some math, um, you know, having the right mindset is huge, you know, try to, sit down, tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna study for one hour and I'm just gonna do the best I can. And after that, I'm just gonna chill and go relax. You know, have, have that mentality, have that positivity when you go into your study sessions. It makes a huge difference. I always compare mathematics to music. Um, I feel like I'm one of those people who struggles a lot at music. I play and sing guitar and I've been playing you know, for a very, very long time, for several years, and I feel like I can never become, you know, great for whatever reason. I just, I feel like I'm not talented enough. And I think a lot of people feel that way about math. But if you think about it, you know, when you pick up a musical instrument, no matter which one it is, you're not gonna know how to play it. The same applies to, you know, any math subject you pick up. If you pick up a book on combinatorics and you try to do some counting problems, you know, you're gonna have a hard time, it's normal because it's new, you know, just like a musical instrument. And just to make another analogy, a lot of times, you know, people play specific instruments. You know, one person might be really good at piano, but they might not be very good at playing the guitar. The same is true in math, right? You have very, very distinct subjects. And oftentimes, you know, when you learn something in one subject, it carries over to another subject and it helps you, you know, learn more math. You know, the same applies in music, you know, learning how to play, the you know ukulele will help you you know learn to play guitar because there are similarities so you know learning math is very very much like learning you know to play a musical instrument i think so try to keep that in mind you know when you're when you're frustrated when you're trying to do math and your attitude is going down 
try to bring yourself up by reminding yourself that, you know, it's a new thing. It's tough for everyone. It's okay to struggle. It's completely normal. I mean, people spend hours of their lives studying math. I have spent hours, I mean, hours of my life studying and trying to understand concepts. I used to wake up in the middle of the night sometimes just to work on a math problem. I'd go to bed and then I would wake up to use the bathroom. It would be 2 a.m. and I would go over to the living room. I remember I used to have a desk. That's all I had was a single desk in my living room. No other furniture, just, well, a desk and one chair. And I would do my math there at 2 in the morning and, you know, did it help? I don't know, but, you know, it's the struggle, right? Everyone goes through it. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, keep a positive attitude. So that really is the most important thing because once once your attitude goes down, you know, it's like, you know, you go down with it. You know, if you go down that that dark, dark, you know, negative spiral of negative thoughts, like I can't do this, this is too hard, I'm just not good enough, you know, that's not helping anyone, right? It's definitely not helping you. So always keep in mind, it's hard for everyone and just keep a positive attitude, try to go, into every new math class, into every new subject with a positive attitude. It makes a huge difference. You know, looking back at all of the classes I took throughout college, I really think that's one of the things that helped me, you know. Sure, you know, I overdid it. I studied a lot, probably more than other people. So I think that really helped me. So that's why I did, you know, pretty good because I studied so much. But I also had a really positive attitude. I'd go into every single class like super gung-ho, like, all right, I'm gonna rock this class. And you know, in every higher level math class, they all start with the best topic in the world. Well, it's set theory. So by the time you're done taking, you know, five or six advanced math classes, you're like a set theory guru. <laughs> and you know, the trick is to apply this positive attitude to every aspect of your math life. So whether it be studying on your own, studying with friends, going to class, taking a test, right? When you go to take that test, you walk in there and you say, yes, I am going to rock this test. And even if you're not prepared, you tell yourself, okay, there's a couple things I don't really know and I hope they're not on there. <laughs> I hope for your sake they're not on there either, right? Good luck. Uh, but you have to have that positive attitude. It makes such a huge difference. It'll help you relax. It'll definitely help your test performance. Maybe you've heard this, but some people say attitude is everything. Like it makes such a huge difference, right? Having the right mindset, even when you're just alone by yourself, you know, if you're gonna sit down and take, you know, a piece of paper and a pencil and you're gonna start working on some math, um, you know, having the right mindset is huge. You know, try to sit down, tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna study for one hour and I'm just gonna do the best I can. And after that, I'm just gonna chill and go relax. You know, have, have that mentality, have that positivity when you go into your study sessions. It makes a huge difference. I hope this video has been helpful. Remember, keep a positive attitude. Don't give up. Good luck.